I think buttons are quite an overlooked piece of the puzzle when it comes to a website. A lot of people tend to go, okay, rectangular button, that'll do us. But there's tons more nuance to it and Squarespace recently-ish has updated how you customize buttons and they've added loads of options for us to basically create anything that we want. So I'm gonna take you all over to the buttons section of Squarespace and I'll show you how to customize your own. So this is what our dashboard is gonna look like to get to the buttons area. We just go to design, site styles, and then we click buttons. We're then presented with primary, secondary, and tertiary options. So you can see there's quite a lot to take into account here. We got text, so text will change the font it will change the weight of the font, the size of the font, and the spacing of the letters, as well as being able to transform the letters within. So you can have normal, you can have capitalized, you can have uppercase, and you can have lowercase. I can't do four without the little pinky coming up, but yeah, there's four things. So I'll show you a button, and I'll show you how it changes in real time. So first off with the font. So we click up here and then we can browse all fonts. So you can select anything that you want from Squarespace. Let's just go with this, and you can see it changes immediately. Then, if we go to Style, it usually gives us the option to go italicized, but maybe this font doesn't allow us to. Let's try something else. If I go to Browse All Fonts, let's just do good old Arial, and then if I go back, style you can see it allows us to do italics so if you want to italicize your button font then you can do so then we've got the weight so depending on the font you'll have anything from 100 to 900 on the fonts Arial only gives us the options to do two levels of font weight so you can change that then you can make the size of the text much larger which will in turn make the button much larger as well but we can actually do things to reduce the size of the button, which I'll come on to in a moment. Then we've got the spacing of the letters. So, you know, however you want to approach this, maybe you've got a style where you want letters to be spaced out. I don't know, but I tend to just keep this standard. I think it was a roughly, what was it? Just zero. Yeah, that'll do. Then text transform. So we've got none, which essentially means whatever you plug into the button text stays uppercase makes everything uppercase if we go lowercase you can see it makes it all lowercase and then capitalize just capitalizes the first letter of each word unless specified so i have cta all caps capitalize doesn't overrule this let's see if i've got another button to show okay here so learn more it's probably a better indicator actually if i go back into this text transform lowercase you can see what that does uppercase you can see what that does and then none you can see it's just standard sentence case so that's that then we've got the actual shape of the button so we've got fill and no fill options this just means fill gives it a color no fill makes it transparent so whatever the background color is or background image you will be able to see through it so we'll start with fill and then you can see we have preloaded styles like this. Then you can customize the corners. So if you wanted something completely different, then you could do so. You can either click the one square, which will allow you to have a curve value, I guess, for the entire button. So let's say I just made this 50. You can see it does that. But if I do the four option here, you can change each corner individually. So I can make that 10. Keep that 50, make that, I don't know, 40, and make this zero to have the world's weirdest looking button. But you get the gist of what I'm trying to get at. Then, no fill, you can do exactly the same. You can also then change the outline value. So you can have no outline, you can have one, two, three, all the way up to 10px. So, I mean, that looks ridiculous. But you can have a play around. I honestly, I wouldn't go further than 3px for buttons, but you do have the option to go really, really thick. If I go back and go into fill, 
then finally we've got the width of the button so the padding width and the padding height so padding width is here and you can specify how much padding you want in your button if I go back up here it should show you better so you can see here we can make our buttons wider or shorter and then we can make them tall or short so you can have a play around based on what you want your button to look like if for instance you want the perfect circle you'd go to here and then you would make the height and the width exactly the same so let's just make them both five and then you can see you have a circular button if you want to make it nice and small you do let's see 1.5 and then 1.5 and then you have i can't get that right there we go oh no i can't get it 1.5 pressure was on so you know you can play around and as i said earlier you can make pretty much whatever you want then if you want to apply that to all so primary secondary and tertiary then you can just click this or if you want to just reset it to standard you can reset like this or if you make any mistakes just hit back like so then we have the secondary and tertiary so you can specify what you want your buttons to be either a primary secondary or tertiary within the editor so if i just go into the editor here and i change this button to secondary you can see we have lots of different options here so this is good if you want different button styles across the site for certain i don't know different sections so let's go into save so we'll just save that and then we'll go back into site styles by clicking here buttons and then you can see we can customize secondary so we can have a different font different style everything and that is how you customize your buttons on squarespace and the options that you have if you found this useful please make sure to leave a like hit subscribe and check out all of the squarespace resources in the description below